first time here. Nice to meet many of you. Many of you I know. Barton Cove. Uh, Barton Cove is a holy spot on the river about two miles just a little northeast from here. Our river, the Connecticut River. This piece is a poem which morphs into an instrumental meditation. Barton Cove. Go down by the Great Falls. Go down and listen to what these waters say. That this river, emerging from the down-wasting glaciers retreat 12,000 years ago, has carved out 410 miles of bedrock in Outwash Plain from the 4th Connecticut Lake in northern New Hampshire to Long Island Sound. That this river, in a long, clean run, gave the cycle of birth, life, and death to salmon, sea lamprey, shad, and short-nosed sturgeon. That these banks have seen the most horrific acts that humans can perpetrate on one another, the massacre of women and the young in the service of imperialism and war. Go down by the Great Falls. Go down and listen to what these waters say. That corporations have been given dominion over the river to bend it to their will in the service of the twin goals of abundant energy and profit. That the river's natural flow has been controlled by dams, pumps, and hydroelectric generation stations, disrupting the migration of anadromous fish, causing their populations to diminish and stagnate. Go down to the Great Falls. Go down and listen to what these waters say. That the companies and corporations awarded stewardship of the river did cause unnatural erosion of the banks and pollution with chemicals, heat, and radiation. Radiation that it was said to have lit up sensors on a Navy submarine way down in Long Island Sound. That while erosion continues to eat at the banks, Pollution has abated, and for the first winter since the nuclear plant has closed, the river has frozen over. Go down by the Great Falls. Go down and listen to what these waters say, that in the way eagles, osprey, and countless species of migrating birds find safety and nourishment here when one meditates on the beauty and majesty of Barton Cove stills and rejuvenates the soul.